And uh, today we're looking at the Toyo series of tires for trucks, right? Yep. Yeah. Now, your opinion on Toyo's just overall, good tire? Oh, I love it. It's you a do. great tire. Yeah. It's a good tire. They, on the pickup, off-road uh, tires, it's one of them top three, I think, honestly, in my opinion. Okay. Well, let's take a look at them here. Now we got three different sizes, but they're three different styles. Yep. Right. So, what do we want to start with here? So we got the all terrain, the hybrid, and the mud terrain. Toy Open Country series. Um, so you got your Toy Open Country AT3. You got your Toy Open Country RT, and you got your Toy Open Country MT. Tire right here has just recently come out in the last couple of years, this hybrid series, okay. tire, um, which is a cross between the all-terrain and the mud terrain. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into it, man. Let's start with, which one do you wanna start with? So, got the Toyo Open Country AT3. Um, this is the new generation of this tire. Uh, just came out last year. Um, they had the Toyo Open Country AT2, which was a great tire. Um, we had a lot of good luck with it, but they changed it up this year. Um, from what I can see, um, they brought in the cleats, um, put the blocks real closer together than what they had with the, uh, the AT2, um, which I think is going to give them a lot better mileage and less irregular wear than what, say, the, uh, the AT2 had. Yeah. You know, it actually looks pretty aggressive for a for their, you know for what I mean? Train, for yeah, an all train, is, is am I wrong here? Yeah. It's like it looks pretty aggressive, right? Yep. It's a pretty aggressive all train, but like I said, this is one of the best tires, in my opinion, on the market in the all train. Yeah. Um, it's I still pretty quiet. Getting, oh, yeah. I got guys getting 65,000 miles out of a set of these right now. Whoa. Yep. That's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. For a truck tire? Yep. Wow. As long as, like I said, they rotate them, keep the air pressure up, this tire wears really, really good. Toyo and Nitto have both uh, put in a lot of energy into making sure that when people are towing, that they're going to still get the mileage out of these tires. But you've got to do the upkeep on them, you know what I mean? And rotate them and check them all out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the hybrid here. That's this one, right? That's this one. Yeah. So it's a cross between an all terrain and a mud terrain. Uh, Toyo built this tire off of the mud train platform like i said in our last video with nitto um they built theirs off of the all-terrain platform um so in my opinion this tire is going to be more like the mud terrain than the all-terrain um it's going to be a little heavier than what say the uh, nitto ridge grappler is okay. in the hybrid it is going to be heavier. Tire. It's yeah, a little heavier? Okay. A little bit heavier. Um, the cleats are a little more spaced out than, say, the Ridge Grappler, but um, overall, this is a great tire. If you're wanting something more aggressive than, say, the All Terrain and less aggressive than the Mud Terrain, then this right here is um, going to be your fit for your truck. When they talk about pricing structures, like, are, are one manufacturer going to be a lot more than the others, or is there some that are more of a bargain than the others, or how does that usually work? Oh, yeah, there's different tiers to every uh, tire brand, it seems like. Uh, in the truck series, so hybrid, all terrains, mud terrains, Toyo is going to be one of those that are up there. You know? On the high end? Yeah, on the higher end right. of uh, tires. But you know one thing you said, though, is that the mileage that you're getting out of this, right? Oh yeah, it, it's a little bit more than well, not only that, but the ride quality too of all three of these tires. Um, it's going to be so much better than some of these off brands that are on the market now. I mean, I've seen a lot of different stuff roll in, and the noise, the ride quality, like I said, um, compared to Toyo, they're out of their league. Really, it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference, and the mileage too, right? Yeah. Yeah. A good tire will hold up. Life of the tire. It holds up. So sometimes you actually spend a little bit more up front, but it's cheaper, right? Because you're, you're not getting... changing them as often. You're not yeah. coming in here having us rotate them as often. You're not checking the air pressure as often. Right. Do they require balance? Do they require balancing when they get wore out? I mean, do they or do they usually just keep their balance? Um, it all depends on how your 
using the tire or the truck, you know? If you're out in the field, I mean, and beating the heck out of it, you're probably gonna have to have them balanced every once in a while. Hoyo Open Country Mud Terrain. Um, this is probably my favorite mud terrain on the market for ride quality and mileage. Um, probably one of the, the, if not the quietest mud terrain on the market in my personal opinion. I've ran all kinds of them on my personal vehicles and this one I liked the most. Um, on the, on the, ride quality, on quietness, and even mileage. Um, this was the tire I recommend. On the mud terrains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, you know, this, uh, this is a pretty heavy tire, right? I mean, oh yeah, I, I, I carried this over here and I was like, Yeah, Dang. there's a lot more rubber on this casing versus, say, these two. You right. Know? So this tire is going to be a lot heavier. But for off road guys, it's going to be a lot thicker. More rubber means more protection, you know, yeah. so on and so forth. Have you taken these out to the dunes here and, and used these tires at all? Oh, yeah. You have? They work good? Oh, yeah. They do. Okay. But in the dunes, man, I've, I've ran highway stuff and <laughs> yeah air pressure is key with sand right right and yeah you got to make sure you got your air pressure right and as long as you do you should be good yeah. this tire is going to be good in your thick mud clay applications versus anything else you know yeah um so um you got two different style sidewalls just like um the nittos we showed you earlier um you got your rigid lettering here versus your smooth lettering yeah here does this have is this going to be the same on this side is, is this or are they, are they the same on both sides on the sidewalls yeah they're pretty much the same on the sidewalls okay. it's just a different look on the lettering right. so like i said you got a raised letter here with some ridge ridges and yeah. then you got your smooth lettering here mm -hmm. So and it doesn't matter. Like look. I see it, it's not directional, right? It doesn't matter. Like nope. any, it, it, it's non-directional tire, so yeah. you can mount it either way. But um, just make sure you got all four of them mounted the right way because you got yeah. different sidewall looks. To them. Right. What's the tire that you think on these ones that most people get? Uh, this is the most common tire we sell uh, in the Toyo. Okay. It's the All Terrain. Um, it's just so versatile and gets the best mileage you yeah. know um, we're starting to sell more and more of the hybrid tire um, but it's still pretty aggressive versus say this all -train. yeah i would say for someone that wants a hybrid tire more on the aggressive side this is a good tire right oh yeah because it's more compared if to the other wanting that in between you're wanting something more aggressive than an all train but a lot less aggressive than a mud train this is going to be the tire for you yeah um, it's a really good wearing tire um, super quiet, um, say versus this mud terrain. You're going to get a lot more mileage out of that than this mud terrain. Um, like I said, it's just a good cross. That's why Toyo and Nitto uh, started doing the hybrid tire. So you got an in-between feel of both worlds. Yeah. You know, I want to talk about one thing too, man. Getting tires right now is hard, right? You're having a hard time getting tires, right? Because of everything going on right now. Like This what's... whole pandemic has kind of put uh, supply chain in a real hurt you know so um, are some manufacturers easier to get than others right now some but it's i think slowly but surely it's getting back to normal some okay. sort of normalcy but it is still difficult to get tires parts a lot of different things yeah well very informative as always man always showing us cool stuff and uh Man, you're just blowing up on YouTube right now too, man. That's that's cool. <laughs> it's like I tell you, man, almost half a million views on your last one that we did with the BF Goodrich, BF Goodrich, and uh, yeah, man. Well, I hope everyone liked it. Um, and you're your be you're your worst critic, right? Yeah, I don't like being. Like I always have to talk better. you into these, dude. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I'm trying. I'm hoping uh, I'm getting a little better. Yeah. Um, helpful criticism is good. Please don't badmouth me. <laughs> they badmouth me, not you, dude. Like if you look at your video, they got me, not you. So anyway, all right, very cool, man. I love it. I love coming down here. Truck guys like watching this stuff. So there you go, man. There's a look at the Toyo series. And uh, yeah, they're showing us. This is Thanks Cody. Bye, guys. Have a good one. This is Billy with B-Tough and Smith & Son Tire.